Hello, welcome to Ellen Baptist Church Daily Bible Study. Uh, sorry to have been out the last couple of days. I had to be in Louisville for uh, the Kentucky Baptist Convention Mission Board meeting, but uh, glad to be back with you today. We're continuing and looking at uh, uh, characters of the Bible and uh, in an alphabetical order, and uh, today we're at the letter R. And uh, we're going to look at Rachel. Now, you can't, can't look at Rachel along, uh, unless you look at her along with Leah. Uh, Rachel and Leah, uh, very important characters in the Bible. Uh, you find their story basically in uh, Genesis chapter 29 through 35. Uh, uh, perhaps you are aware of the character Jacob, or as his name gets changed later, Israel and uh, the sons of Israel, and they become uh, the, the nation of Israel. But uh, Jacob started out, he was a twin, and uh, his brother Esau, uh, and he, Jacob sort of lied and used subterfuge to trick Esau out of his birthright, and Jacob was sort of like that. Uh, he was a, a person that didn't uh, quite hold to the truth. And uh, this sort of caught up with him in the story of Rachel and Leah. Uh, uh, Jacob fled uh, 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 when he tricked his brother, uh, fearing for his life. And uh, he ended up uh, at his uncle Laban's uh, place. And uh, um, when he is there, uh, he fell in love with one of uh, Laban's daughters, Rachel. Loved her very dearly. Uh, and so his uncle said, well, uh, if you're going to, uh, 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 if you want her, you have to work for me for seven years. And so he said, okay, it's worth it. So he worked for his uncle for seven years. And then when it came time for the wedding, of course, with veils and stuff like that, you could do something like this. Uh, he actually tricked Jacob and gave uh, the older sister, Leah, instead of uh, Rachel. And when Jacob realized he had been tricked, you know, the trickster got tricked. Uh, it kind of reminds me of, uh, uh, the, uh, of the New Testament saying of Jesus, saying, whatever a person sows, that he shall also reap. Um, but uh, uh, Laban then saw an opportunity and said, well, you know, that's just typical. The older sister should get married first. And so he said, work for me for seven more years. And... Uh, and, and, and you can have Rachel, and he did, of course. Uh, 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 in those days, this is before uh, uh, the law and uh, before uh, Moses, and so uh, uh, you, you don't have uh, any rules and regulations against mul uh, marrying multiple women. At this time, it was the custom of the day. I don't think it was God's intent, because all the way back in Genesis, it said God's intent was one man, one woman for life. But, uh, but still, that's what they did in those days. And uh, Jacob, the trickster, got tricked. Uh, he didn't learn his lesson yet, but he learns it later. But that's another story. Rachel and Leah, uh, they could have been enemies, especially when Leah had children without any trouble. Rachel struggled and didn't have any children. And this could have been and was a source of conflict for a while, and even a source of conflict between Rachel and Jacob as, as uh, uh, she sort of blamed him for that situation. Uh, but when it came down to it and it came time that, that, uh, that they were going to leave that place and Laban had some authority over them, if the women uh, of, of, of uh, uh, flocks and, and servants and things of that sort, the women bound together, uh, understanding that God had blessed Jacob and they wanted to be faithful to God, and so they put down their animosity. It's even uh, uh, an example given in the, in the book of Ruth uh, uh, that uh, that this is the way sisters ought to be, uh, the, the way uh, Rachel and Leah banded together. Uh, Rachel, of course, finally did have children, and and a very important uh, couple of people, uh, uh, Joseph and Benjamin, uh, uh, and uh, important parts of the story of the Bible. 
Rachel became so important that she's referred to, for example, uh, by the prophet Jeremiah. Her name is used uh, uh, for the nation of Israel, that, uh, uh, that uh, Rachel uh, weeps over her children uh, as an example. Well, two women, uh, the take home I think for us today is um, be faithful in what you sow. Jacob sowed uh, 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 lying and uh, trickery and he received that back. You see the principles that Jesus taught in the New Testament are, are principles that come straight from God that have always been. If you sow to the wind, you're going to reap a whirlwind. Whatever a person sows, that's what they reap. Uh, and so when Jacob finally learned that lesson, and Rachel and Leah finally learned that they needed to love one another rather than fight one another, then great things can happen. God bless you.